This movie details the installation of an Isofarm benchtop secure log to either an SES 2000 or Little Sister 3 steriliser. The installation in this movie is being carried out by a qualified validation engineer from Duncan Technical Services Limited. Secure log can be fitted to all non-vacuum Little Sister 3 sterilizers, any SES 2000 with a serial number starting SC. Securalog can also be fitted to the SES 2000 with a serial number starting SED. However, you will need to make sure that the manifold at the back of the chamber is the slotted version shown here, rather than the older manifold where the sensor is placed into a hole. If the manifold is the older type, it will need to be replaced. It is important to note that a change in manifold will always require a recalibration of the main board. Securalog cannot be fitted to any SES 2000 steriliser with serial numbers starting SEA, SEB, SEC, Little Sister 3 vacuum sterilisers. The Securalog Kit 7B contains a benchtop Securalog, a memory card and adapter, an isofarm daughter board, a bulkhead fitting with a ribbon cable, a secondary temperature sensor and H-clip, a communication cable that in this installation also doubles as the power cable. Installation of the Securalog Kit 7B also requires the following equipment. A socket set, adjustable spanner and screwdrivers for removing nuts and screws. A calibrated independent reference probe and trimming tool for calibration of the main board and daughter board. Tie wraps, nail varnish or other sealant to fix calibrated pots, plus zinc oxide based thermal grease for installation of the secondary temperature sensor an electric drill and drill bit to cut an 11.5mm hole for the bulkhead fitting and a file for cleaning the hole. A smaller screwdriver will also be required for smaller fittings. Before attending site you must know which machine you are installing Securalog to and that it can be installed, know how to program and calibrate an SES 2000 or Little Sister 3 steriliser, have the correct Securalog kit, have the latest Securalog software have the correct tools and equipment to carry out the installation. You must also be a qualified steriliser validation engineer. If you have any queries, please contact Isofarm on 01709 525256 before attending site. Isofarm also provides installer training. Please visit the Securalog website for further details. Due to the nature of the loads processed within a steriliser based at a healthcare site, Isofarm highly recommends that the installer perform the necessary PPE precautions to minimise the risk of cross-infection. A movie on the correct application of PPE for validation engineers can be found on the Securalog website. Installing the bulkhead fitting. Unplug the steriliser from the mains. Move into a practical position. Using the cover as a guide, mark where the hole will be drilled to install the bulkhead fitting. Unscrew the cover fixing screws. Remove the cover, taking care not to damage the earth cable, which also needs to be removed. Drill a hole 11.5mm in diameter to the right of the fuse holders. This is the only location which will allow the cover to be replaced after installation. Using the file, clean the hole. Clean up any cutting shavings. Unscrew the nut and insert the bulkhead fitting into the hole. Screw the nut back onto the bulkhead fitting. The PCB side should not rest next to the fuse holder. Make sure that the nut is tight and the waterproof sheet is positioned correctly. It is worthwhile looking to see if there are any leaks from the reservoir at this point. Water will corrode over time and may damage the bulkhead fitting resulting in data loss and a call out for the engineer. Installing the Isofarm daughter board. This part of the installation is only required if the steriliser does not already have a daughter board installed. Fit the Isofarm daughterboard onto the main PCB. 
Take care to ensure that the 10 pin connector at the top is connected to all 10 pins on the main board as this is easily misplaced. Once inserted, plug in the Securalog ribbon cable. Installing the secondary drain temperature sensor. Plug the Securalog temperature sensor into the socket above the machine's own temperature sensor, ensuring that the black wire is on the outside. Neatly position the sensor through the space provided. Position the steriliser to reach the manifold at the back of the chamber. Slide out the clip holding the machine's own probe from the brass block at the rear of the chamber. It is important to remove any existing thermal grease from both the manifold and machine temperature sensor. This will help with thermal conduction. It is important to apply zinc oxide based thermal grease to the top face of the probes to aid thermal conduction. This should also be applied to the underside of the manifold. Isofarm recommends using the new H clip provided with the Securalog kit. Insert both the control probe and the Securalog temperature probe into the H clip. Slide the H-clip into the brass block. Setting up the Isofarm daughter board. To enter programming mode and turn on the printer function, plug the steriliser back into the mains. Be aware that the machine is now live without the cover in place. Hold button 5 on the reverse of the front panel and switch mains on, keeping button 5 pressed until the display reads Setup. LS3 will then display. If the unit is an SES 2000, press button 2 to bring up SES. Press button 1 to change the display to read Print. Press button 1 to change the display to read Psych 0. Press button 2 the display will now read ENG. To set the mechanical language, press 1 to accept English as the machine language. If English is not the required language, press 2 to cycle through other options. Pressing 1 accepts the selection. The display will now read CE. To accept the CE mark, check the machine for a CE0473 mark. If present, accept the selection by pressing 1 to continue. If the machine displays no CE mark, press 2 to continue. The display will now read OD01. The machine serial number must now be set. The autoclave serial number, which is on the data plate on the inside of the autoclave door and on the back of the autoclave cover, comprises of four parts. The first part of the serial to set is the modification state. This is made up of three letters, however only the third letter is used. The letter is set up by a two digit number. A is 0, 01 through to Z at 26. With the display reading OD01, press button 1 to begin selecting the required number. Button 1 will increase the number, button 2 will decrease the number. When the number displayed corresponds to the last letter of the modification state, press 3 to select. The display will now read YR00. The next part of the serial to be set is the year of manufacture. The year is made up of the two last digits, so 2001 is 01. With the display reading YR00, press button 1 to begin selecting the required number. Button 1 will increase the number, button 2 will decrease the number. When the number displayed corresponds with the year of manufacture, press 3 to select. The display will now read ON01. Now set up the month of manufacture. The month is made up of two numbers, 
January is 01 through to December 12. With the display reading ON01, press button 1 to begin selecting the required number. Button 1 will increase the number, button 2 will decrease the number. When the number displayed is correct, press 3 to select. The display will now read high 00. To set up the machine number, with the display reading high 00, press button 1 to begin selecting the required number. Button 1 will increase the number, button 2 will decrease the number. When the number displayed is correct, press 3 to select. The display will now read low 00. Press button 1 to begin selecting the required number. Button 1 will increase the number, button 2 will decrease the number. When the number displayed is correct, press 3 to select. Next, the date and time needs setting. The month is made up of two numbers. January is 01 through to December 12. With the display reading ON01, press button 1 to begin selecting the required number. Button 1 will increase the number, button 2 will decrease the number. When the display corresponds with the required month, press 3 to select. The display will now read DY01. The day is made up of two numbers, 01 through to 31. With the display reading DY01, press button 1 to begin selecting the required number. Button 1 will increase the number, button 2 will decrease the number. When the display corresponds with the required day, press 3 to select. The display will now read YR00. The year is made up of two digits. 2001 is 01. With the display reading YR00, press button 1 to begin selecting the required number. Button 1 will increase the number, button 2 will decrease the number. When the number displayed corresponds with the required year, press 3 to select. The display will now read HR00. The hour is a 24 hour clock, 00 through to 24. With the display reading HR00, press button 1 to begin selecting the required number. Button 1 will increase the number, button 2 will decrease the number. When the number displayed corresponds with the hour, press 3 to select. Script. The minute is a two digit number, 01 through to 59. With the displayed reading IN00, Press button 1 to begin selecting the required number. Button 1 will increase the number, button 2 will decrease the number. When the number displayed corresponds with the required minute, press 3 to select. Programming is now complete. The machine will now emit several beeps to indicate a successful setup procedure. Calibrating the new temperature sensor. Connect the calibrated independent reference probe through the manifold entry fitting. Top up the reservoir with distilled water if required. To enter calibration mode, switch mains power off. Hold in buttons 2 and 3 on the front panel and switch mains on, keeping buttons 2 and 3 pressed until the display reads Calib. The solenoid door lock will activate and fill will be displayed, followed by heat approximately 150 seconds later. The machine will increase temperature to 121 degrees C. Wait 5 minutes at this temperature to ensure stability. This must be a 5 minute period at 121 degrees, otherwise the steriliser will not allow calibration at 134 degrees. Calibrating the machine's control temperature sensor at 121 degrees with the independent reference probe. After 5 minutes, check the steriliser control probe against the independent reference probe by pressing button 5. The display will show C, indicating the control probe value. Continue to hold button 5. Using the trimming tool, calibrate pot R17 on the main board until the control probe value indicates the measured value from the independent reference probe. Calibrating the secure log temperature sensor at 121 degrees using the now calibrated machine control temperature sensor. The secure log probe can now be calibrated at 121 using the now calibrated control probe value. Switch between the control and secure log probe values by pressing button 5. 
Use the trimming tool to calibrate pot R9 so that the secure log probe reads the same as the control probe. When the 1 2 1 cycle has been calibrated successfully, press button 1 until a beep is emitted. Calibrating the machine's control temperature sensor at 135 degrees with the independent reference probe. The machine will now increase to 135.5 degrees in order to calibrate the 134 cycle. There is now a time limit of 3 minutes to calibrate the 134 cycle. Check the steriliser control probe against the independent reference probe by pressing button 5. The display will again show C, indicating the control probe value. Continue to hold button 5. Using the trimming tool, calibrate pot R14 on the main board until the control probe value indicates the measured value from the independent reference probe. Calibrating the secure log temperature sensor at 135 degrees using the now calibrated machine control temperature sensor. The secure log probe can now be calibrated at 134 using the now calibrated control probe value. Switch between the control and secure log probe values by pressing button 5. Use the trimming tool to calibrate pot R6 so that the secure log probe reads the same as the control probe. After the 3 minute period the steriliser will fall back to 121 degrees. When 121 degrees is reached, again check the indicated value of the control probe against the measured value of the independent reference probe. This should not usually require further calibration, however, if the values are different, repeat the calibration steps for both 121 degrees and 134 degrees. Finishing off the installation. Calibration is now completed. To exit from calibration, turn the machine off and then back on again. The steriliser will vent. Remove the independent reference probe from the manifold entry. Close the chamber entry fitting. Seal all of the calibrated pots. This is to ensure that the pots are not easily moved once calibrated. Replace the PCB cover. Replace the machine cover, making sure that the earth wire is reattached and situated correctly. Replace the holding screws. Plug in the secure log communication cable. For this installation, the communication cable is also the power cable. The unit does not require a separate power supply. Plug the other end of the communication power cable into SecureLog. PPE removal. After installation, ensure the proper PPE removal and hand hygiene is performed. This completes the hardware installation, which was performed by Duncan Technical Services Limited. The secure log must now be programmed. A movie on this can be viewed at the secure log website at www.securelog.co.uk. For further information, please contact ISAFARM on 01709 525256.